I have a DIY beauty video for you today. I'm going to show you how to make your own um, setting powder. So this is great if you get um, a shiny T-zone or a shiny face like I do because I have oily skin. And you only need one ingredient. So really, you don't even really need to make the powder. You just need the one ingredient which is um, cornstarch so it's just a normal cornstarch that you get from um, any good supermarket and I've been using this for I've used this a few times to, um, to test it out and it's been working really well so I thought I'd share it with you guys and the reason why I tried this out was because in most um, products mattifying products including creams and um, powders or primers etc sorry I hit the plane um, <clears throat> the main ingredient usually is or one of the main ingredient usually is or almost always is cornstarch so I thought I'd try it out on its own to see how it works and yeah like I said I've really been liking it and I think it's been working really well so I'll just show you what I do or what I've been doing. I'll probably change up this technique now that I've decided that it works well for me. So I just cut off a little bit on the corner here so I don't open the whole packet. And of course my hands are clean. Make sure your hands are clean if this is the way that you're going to um, try it out or always do it. I'll just put a tiny amount on my hand, make sure it's not too much, and I'll just show you. So I've put that much, and that is a bit too much, but obviously it's a bit hard to not get a lot of product straight from the bag. And then I'll just do that on my hand. I spread it out on my hand a little bit, and then I'll get a nice. Um, brush, a big brush to put it on my face and the one that I like to use is the e.l.f. Kabuki face brush and I like this one because it isn't um, it, it isn't very dense, I actually forgot to show this in my um, e.l.f. brush haul and I expected this to be really dense and like thick but as you can see it's not, it's really soft so I really like using this to apply this powder so I've got it on my hand and then I'll put it on the brush and you can see it's, there's quite a lot on there. So I'll just brush a little bit off and then I'll start putting it on my face where I most need it. So for me it's on the T-zone and like on this area here my cheeks and then on my chin in the middle and that's it really I don't um, put it everywhere or anything because I don't like my face to look too matte and if I think it looks too matte or whatever I just use a setting spray <clears throat> like the, the vitamin E one from the body shop or witch hazel nothing special or anything like that but um, yeah, that's how I've been applying it and seeing as I like it, I'll probably buy like a salt shaker or something so I can like shake it a little bit on the brush rather than putting it on my hand or putting it on a lid and getting the brush on there. So yeah, I really recommend this as um, a blotting powder or oil control powder if you've got oily skin on a shiny T-zone. Um, Definitely give it a go because I really recommend it. I really like it. It's been working really well for me and it does keep my skin um, matte for quite a long time. It does keep it um, matte longer for, for like in comparison with other setting powders that I've used. So yeah, thumbs up for this. Um, yeah, give it a go. If you do try it out, then leave a comment below. If you have any questions, then comment down below. Also, subscribe for more if you haven't yet. Give me a big thumbs up for this video if you find it useful or helpful. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.